Welcome to the open span for financial services before and after demonstration. In this demonstration I will show two scenarios. The first of which will be a before scenario where there are seven applications on the desktop not automated or integrated yet with OpenSpan. In this scenario the agent or the user uh, would have to log into the applications independently to start them up initially. So I click on each application, position them nicely on the screen. This first application might be a teller or an account management application, .NET or FAT client. Then you've got your CTI screen pop, perhaps a Excel spreadsheet used to look up deposit amounts for account opening, and uh, the old favorite mainframe application, um, which you would have to log into manually as well. followed by a handy notepad app for taking notes while you're in the call and then copying and pasting them in the applications and then perhaps a software as a service or a web-based application for account opening and finally you might even have a secondary CRM app perhaps salesforce.com that you have to log in as well and work with Okay, so now that I've finally got my applications on the desktop, which has taken me quite some time, I have to learn and understand the interfaces to navigate through all of these applications. So even something as simple as taking a phone call from Jane requires me tabbing around through these apps on the desktop. So I may take a new call coming in, answer that call, then I have to tab across to multiple apps, pull the record up just to verify that Jane is who she says she is. Okay, pull her up in the mainframe, pull her up as well in perhaps uh, salesforce.com. So now I've finally got kind of a 360 view, if you will, of Jane, but I have to look across multiple applications to see her information. So even something as simple as opening an account might require us to have the copy and paste information from multiple apps, fill out an entire new account opening form, copying and pasting across. Um, I'd have to remember business rules about account opening lead time, you know, copying and pasting credit card information, and uh, lots of opportunities for error, lots of opportunities for compliance violations. So that's just one particular use case. And if I get to the point where Jane is happy and I want to see if there are any promotional offers available, I would have to learn the Salesforce application to be able to scroll down, understand how to search her record, and find any available offers. So if there's like a platinum card offer here, I'd have to understand you know, how far to scroll down, I'd have to edit that record, I'd have to you know, set a flag indicating whether the offer was accepted or not, and then go ahead and save that record. Okay, so that is just to actually make an offer, much less having to go through the teller application and add the new account, look up the account opening fee, uh, enter the account opening fee here as well as credit limit. Now, this is just two small use cases where I'd have to learn a lot about all these individual applications just to get my job done. Even another simple use case like updating an address would require that I change it in all three applications, the teller app, CRM application, and the mainframe application. Now with OpenSpan technology, we can allow you to iteratively improve these workflows and make the agents more efficient. The way we do this is we install a small runtime on each desktop that can do two things. First, it can monitor agents' usage of applications on the desktop, both from interactions with the applications and how much time is spent in each app, to instrumenting processes that span multiple applications. So we'll show you this a little bit later in the monitoring tool, but what I'd like to do now is shut down these applications and show the second capability of OpenSpan, which is the ability to automate and improve these cumbersome workflows. Now, without requiring any access to the source code of the applications or changing them on the desktop, with the OpenSpan automation engine, we can take control of the applications, guide the workflows, automate, 
provide a 360 view and automatic or unified search as well as call wrap-up functions. What you're seeing here is OpenSpan launching the applications, positioning them nicely on the screen, and getting the user ready for work. In the after demonstration here, we're going to leverage the OpenSpan desktop automation capability to optimize the worker experience in, in four areas. First, task or call setup. Second, we're going to provide process guidance. Third, we're going to automate workflows and validate data. And fourth, auto notes and call wrap-up capabilities. As well, with OpenSpan, we built a toolbar that's positioned on the left-hand side of the screen to assist in these workflows. So let's take a call from Jane, walk through several of these workflows, and we'll point out what you can achieve with OpenSpan automation. And again, we're doing this without having access to the source code or having to change any of these applications that are on the desktop. Okay, let's take a call from Jane. As soon as we click Answer, OpenSpan is going going to navigate Telerapp, the mainframe app, and Salesforce.com to Jane's record. As we do this and the data comes back, OpenSpan begins to populate this toolbar on the left-hand side. So the first part of this call could be that I might want to verify or validate Jane. As I ask her, what is your zip code and what perhaps is the last four digits of your checking account number and your street address, I can just click on these items here. OpenSpan will highlight them and when I push the validate button first we're going to enable the other capabilities in the toolbar and we begin taking notes associated with what we're doing uh, or the activities that are occurring with Jane. You'll also notice in the meantime OpenSpan has reached out to the Salesforce application and found that there's a pre-approved offer available for Jane. That campaign exists here but OpenSpan went ahead and scanned um, and found that offer and has highlighted a button. When it's appropriate I could go ahead and make that offer. Jane is calling in and she wants to dispute an invalid charge on her account. So the first thing she's doing is asking for her account balance. So what I can do as an agent is click on the account balance field. We will then take a note in this temporary area indicating that an account balance inquiry occurred. Okay the next step is perhaps Jane you know had an invalid charge because her address was changed and her bill didn't come in time. So she wants to change her address. So as soon as I click on the address field, an open span tooltip pops up in this application and indicates that you can go ahead and change the address here. And then when you're done, click the update address button in the toolbar. So when I change this address, notice how it's changing dynamically in the toolbar down here as well as in the application. So what I need to do is just click on the update address button. And when I do this, you'll see open span go out, make the update automatically in salesforce.com, pushing the address update to all the applications. Note, see OpenSpan automating Salesforce to edit the record and save the address. And when that is complete, we will again take note of that within the notes field here that an update address occurred. So the next part of this work flow could be that Jane is really wants to dispute a hundred dollar charge. She claims that she increased her credit limit but we still charged her a hundred dollars. So another capability with OpenSpan we can consolidate notes and pull interaction history from applications and display that. So when I click this little calendar icon I can bring up this notes history dialog that shows that yes in fact Jane did call in and increased her credit to ten thousand so we're going to go ahead, since she's a valuable customer, based on this history, give her that $100 credit. So to do that, I've got a shortcut button on my app bar that will guide me through the disputing a charge use case. So I click that button, open span pops a dialog. I can go ahead and enter that amount, $100, invalid charge. And when I click dispute, I will add the $100 credit to her account. And then I will also open a case within Salesforce.com and enter the appropriate data or pre-fill several of the data fields. Now I'll stop and allow the agent to make any additional changes they want before they move on 
So Jane is getting happier by the minute as we take care of her here. So maybe now it's appropriate to make this pre-approved offer to Jane. So what we'll do is we will click on this button again in the toolbar and OpenSpan will guide the actual workflow. So I click on the button, it pops up and says, would the customer like to accept this platinum card offer? If we continue, the credit limit will be $10,000. Yes, I'll continue and there'll be an account opening fee of $25. So when I go ahead and click continue here, the last time what will happen is we'll go create the credit card account in the account management app we'll add the twenty five dollar account opening fee and at the same time we open a new order form within salesforce.com and pre-fill the data associated with that new order so we're finally nearly done with this call the last step would be you know if Jane is his happy you could set perhaps a temperament indicator to 10 saying, you know, hey, she's very happy. And the last thing she's interested in doing is uh, she's got a question about account accessing her, her account over the web. So we may need to transfer her to technical support. So another capability is to have these predefined notes where if I select them from a drop-down list, OpenSpan will go ahead and add that note to this uh, journal here as well. You know, and then when I finally hang up from Jane, we're going to take all these auto and click the notes that we've collected along the way and push them into all three systems of record. So as I click hang up, you will see that we copy verbose notes from that notes scratch area into this account or teller app. We also put it into the interaction log here within Salesforce and then we create a new log of call entry with those verbose notes pre-populated in the comments field. So when I'm finally done with this particular call, I can hang up, you know, and then I'm going to click next call. Open spam will clear the app bar and all of the screens and bring them back to their ready state. So in summary, this is somewhat of an imagine the possibilities of what you can do with OpenSpan. We automate several of the workflows, validate data as it's being entered. We make sure we synchronize addresses across multiple applications. We provide quick links within a toolbar to automate and provide guidance. We collect notes, aggregate notes, push them back into the application and provide a 360 view. Now this is somewhat of a minimalist approach. The apps aren't changed all that much. We're providing a little toolbar on the side. You can take an iterative approach here and get as fancy as you want. You could literally you know, build a brand new complete composite UI hiding all of the original applications and build you know, an entire new front end with OpenSpan. But we find that many of our customers want to leverage the existing business logic and the user interfaces that exist today and just simply augment or automate micro flows within the entire process. So while all of this is occurring, OpenSpan has a capability called desktop analytics to where we're sitting in the background monitoring the workflow, collecting application usage as well as operational performance metric and sending that to the OpenSpan server. I'll go ahead and log in and show you that when OpenSpan collects this information you have the ability to put um, all your users configure them and put them in groups and then you can report down to the individual user level or report on aggregated metrics uh, across different groups and compare groups or compare a user to a group or compare two time frames say perhaps the before with the after to see exactly how much you've, you've improved so let me run a report out of the OpenSpan portal so we go ahead and select from one of several metrics that we're going to keep track of. So for every workflow or application, you know, we can track things like application churn, copy and paste and scrolling, the number of keystrokes, etc. So I'll just start out by clicking application churn, uh, choosing a time period. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and select last month and I'm going to choose a selected group of say the open span pre-sales team. Okay, and when I pull this report you first see activity from a process perspective. So we can show all of the processes or activities or flows that are being monitored by OpenSpan. In my particular case, I'm monitoring you know, the activities that I perform doing the before demo versus the after demo, and I've got a few others in here as well. The size of the block represents the time relative spent in a particular workflow and the color represents a metric so we're showing application churn so in the before demo 
you know, we are churning. It's redder, hotter, which means uh, there's a lot more context switching between applications. If I were to decide to choose like the uh, total copy paste count, you know, and, and refresh this, you'll as well see that there's a lot of copying and pasting occurring in the before scenario. So if I wanted to show the details behind this, I can click show details and at the bottom of the graph will actually show tabular information of which you can sort and see you know the process by duration or largest duration you can even sort and look at it by by metric I can go ahead and click on any given process here that I'm monitoring and it'll drill in and show me the application usage associated with that process so if I click on this before demo you'll actually see the applications that I interacted with while performing that demo. And again, I can click Show Details if I want to show the data behind this visualization and actually tab through that. Then if I drill back up to my process activity and select the After Demonstration, you'll see that, you know, once again, we show the applications that were used in the After Scenario. Now if I go back here to the Process Visualization, or the Heat Map, and let's say this time we want to look at application churn uh, and look at this after demo we can see the applications that were used in uh, the automated scenario so the there were less applications used we were spending a little bit more time in salesforce.com and having to spend less time in the other applications also looks like there was a little bit of facebook surfing uh, in here as well of course, I can click on Show Details to see who exactly was surfing Facebook. Now, if I choose some of the other processes, these are all user-defined. You know, if I define a process called Lunch Break, then I could look and see, you know, what people were doing while they were uh, in the Lunch Break mode. So, a little bit of Facebook going on, surfing the Apple website. Google, etc. So the bottom line is, you know, you can see application usage and you can wrap that with a process context. Now, of course, in addition to these out of the box reports, OpenSpan offers an optional tool called the Spotfire Bundle for OpenSpan. And this is a tool that allows you to drill in even deeper and build your own custom reports and dashboard. So what I'm showing you here is a sample data set where with OpenSpan we have collected um, metadata and details to drill into an individual process. So what we're showing here is on the vertical we've got time, on the horizontal we've got individual process steps and I'm showing two separate workflows, a before and an after automation. In this first workflow it took 160 seconds to get through the call and you can actually see all the individual process steps within that call. So the table below shows the details. Every event has a timestamp, the name of the transaction, the elapsed time, and the incremental time. As well as beyond that we can pick up any data values off of the screen that are on in any of the applications. So as you follow this particular first workflow you know, or transaction from start to finish, right, you can see that OpenSpan, here's the start, here's the end transaction, right, and OpenSpan, you know, you, you highlight and show the entire transaction here. What you're seeing here is that the start of a search within the CRM app occurred five seconds in, the order entry process, a total of 85 seconds from beginning to end, that should be an area for automation or an opportunity. We can even pick up um, alerts for missing data, so that's validating forms as they're filled out. And we can even track, you know, navigation and activities through Salesforce.com, for example. And then after the call ends, we can track um, how much time it took to enter the after call work. Okay, and then in the after scenario here, um, we took considerably less time rather than 160 seconds. The entire workflow took only 50 seconds to complete. And this is showing, you know, basically that the automated scenario makes the agent more effective. So in addition to looking at the process level event, um, we can drill in further and look at application usage uh, in a different way than I showed you in the out-of-the-box portal. We can show pie charts that give you the percentage of time spent in each application drill in and look at the detailed 
um, interactions within each app and even look at a timeline that shows you for one specific workflow or call you know that five seconds was spent in this app then they tabbed over and spent 13 seconds here then logged into the mainframe then bounced back and forth between a couple of applications and you can slide on down the line and see the rest of it let's look at you know, what's called a heat map where we can show the applications on the vertical. So what you're looking for are these red hot spots indicate like for example where a lot of copying and a lot of pasting and a lot of scrolling was occurring in the applications. We can then get very web centric and drill into web usage and even show you know down to the URL for web applications you know how much manual work was occurring in each web app and then even drill in you know with a tree map and show for each domain which pages were visited within that domain and the amount of time spent in that domain okay and you can even trellis or group it and show a separate pie chart for example per website a couple of other things that we have here are the ability to show application usage by time hour minute of the day we even have a feature called tree map where you can drill in and look at a particular application like this CRM app drill into it and look at the copy events and see which exact fields were being copied in this application and then search and find in the other application where they were pasted to so the list of fields and the amount of instances that data was pasted. Of course there's a breadcrumb trail to get back to the beginning here. So it's even possible with OpenSpan to get down to the clickstream level or what we call application detail events where I can look at every single activity. This is usually done in a business process improvement initiative on a subset of desktops to where I can get to the point where I can look at clicking the next call but tabbing into a particular field, entering a value, clicking the search button, and then walking through, in this case, you know, 182 individual events associated with this particular workflow in sequence across multiple applications. So in summary, OpenSpan is really very good at collecting just about any data that you need bringing it into the database and allowing you to look at aggregated data across groups of users or give you the ability to build custom reports as you see here where you can drill down from the high level process events down to the application usage down to the individual clicks if you choose to do so. OpenSpan provides a single technology that is capable of doing both desktop analytics and monitoring, as well as desktop automation. Thank you very much.